Um, so this is a wooden counting stacker. And as you can see, it increases from one to five, and it has the numbers in the front. <laughs> um, so the first time that you introduce this activity, you're not actually focusing on the number. We're just um, visualizing how more objects increase the size. Um, so all you do is remove them and set them out in front of each of the numbers. Do you like to try? <laughs> Is it still okay to show time. them that like the red one doesn't go on the yellow one, just the colors? Um, yeah, so you might do more exploration when the child actually starts working with it. With the initial presentation, you're wanting to give the visualization of how they line out though. Because this, um, you, well next week we're going to um, introduce an activity called Numbers and Counters. And you're going to see how this visually um, is set up the same way that that activity is when you lay them out in front. Um, you're also showing how the colors represent or are the same as the color of the dowel behind it. Uh, so certainly a child should have mastered the infilayer exercises before being introduced to this activity, which we introduce um, in sensorial, the sensory motor um, section. And so this is an extension to that. They should also be able to sort colors. Um, so sensorial is laying the foundation for um, sorting and um, categorizing, and so if they can sort their colors and they can do the infilar exercises, then they should be able to do this activity. So what you're going to see uh, is that what kids will do is they won't line them out, they'll get all mixed up down here, and so what you're going to want to do before having them <coughs> put them on is sort out the colors. So you, you'll show them how to match. And then put them back on. And students will oftentimes start recognizing that. Um, at this point, we're not going to correct them if they don't get them in the correct color order. So I don't know if it ends up looking like this. Oh. Like, oh no! <laughs> like, that's terrible! <laughs> um, we're not going to correct them at this point because right now they're just working on the visualization of quantity increasing and the size. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So once a child understands how to color code them, which typically happens pretty quickly, then you can introduce the counting concepts. Um, and you'll point out the numbers down here, but still we're not expecting that they recognize the numerals, so we're not going to be focusing on those too much, but you can point it to it and say the number. So one. One. Two. One. Two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then once you get them all laid out, you can do the same thing putting them back. One, 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 two, two, one, two, three. I love this work because you can have a wide range of levels in your classroom and they can all be working with it at a different level. So this one really does. We need this one. 
after this class is over, you guys are welcome. I like this better than the, the number blocks. The, the numeral blocks? Yeah. Yes, which we're going to be introducing next. So this okay. definitely comes before the numeral blocks because that's a little bit more working on the number, yeah. um, introducing the quantity as well. But yes, just kind of a foundation. And the visualization of this is, is nice. 